Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Villages. Let's get underway over here. Stop with that voice. So we have a new update here today. Um, if you probably notice, you'll see a ton of these birds just kind of flying around over here and landing on our houses, which I thought was kind of cute to begin with. But honestly, there's a lot of birds here. It kind of scares me a little bit. It reminds me of the, the, the film by Alfred Hitchcock over here, the birds. They're over here just basically taking over our village, waiting for our, our people to slip up so they can just kind of fly out and peck their eyes out. It's terrifying. But anyway, look, they're flying off now. See, it's scary as all hell. There's been a few updates over here that's fixed a lot of things and a bunch of bugs, especially the merchant one, which is actually really neat. So I'm glad that's uh, been taken care of over here soon. Uh, let me slow you guys down here momentarily because I want to find out how we're doing here in terms of everything else because um, food is finally rising back up. We dropped a lot really, really fast at the end of last episode, but now it seems like it's going back up. So that should be pretty good for us here going forward. Um, pharmacist. We have two of you guys over here. Have you taken care of the illnesses over here? Because if you have, I'm going to move you to work somewhere else here pretty soon. Let me find out about statistics here. Um, it does seem that our illnesses are now taken care of, perhaps? Diseased? I mean 12 people diseased. <laughs> we haven't lost 12 people. You're crazy, game. Uh, no, it seems that we're fine now with the diseases, so that should be taken care of now. Great. Storage over here, we have one warehouse individual. Let's see, overview. Villagers. Let me look at who's, um, who needs houses and whatnot. Villagers without homes, zero. Free room and houses for families, too. Ooh, we even have some free ho um, houses now, too. We're coming up in the world now, baby. Oh, speaking of which, another baby-making machine over here. Great. And because it's raining now, we are finally collecting water over here, too, it does seem. Great. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, cool. Our food's at 27. Uh, are we still multiplying our wood? It does seem like we are. Great. <laughs> We're still multiplying our wood, he says. Trying to keep a serious face. Who are you trying to fool over here, Falcon? Large house. You're pretty much stocked up for. Let's um, remove... I'm going to say we're, we're okay with diseases now, aren't we? Yeah. We have a lot of medication over here stored up, too. So in case we get sick, we just swap over, over here, and we should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are free to run off now. Thanks a lot for your medicine help over here. Let me put one of you guys into the bad house. And then the free dude, let's see, we have four workers, six foresters, two woodcutters. We have no blacksmith at the moment, but that's okay. We'll, we'll roll without them for now, just because we're trying to store up. What is it that we're trying to build today? Like, I forgot what it is that we mentioned last time. We made the bad house. Did we... Was it farm that we were talking about? Speaking of which, we have a lot of trees over here. Should start cutting those down pretty soon. How's our forest over here? That one was cut down recently, and then we have, I think, another one down here too, right? Which is barely just growing up. Okay. So, hmm. I mean, we need more food, definitely, for all the new kids growing up and all the new babies coming into the village here. So I think the farm would be ideal. So let's go. I guess farm's going to be the one. Let's see. That's not it. Farm. 40 and 10. We can make it. Let's go ahead and do it. All oh, right, right. I was supposed to look off camera what's going to be more important, and then I I forgot to do it, so... um, <laughs> Big surprise, right? Oh, Falcon forgot again. Ooh. Yeah. Imagine that. Farmland will be, like, over here. I don't want you guys to run away too far. Plus, whatever you bring in will be kind of easy to bring into the warehouse, so... I think it's a good idea to have you right over there, my friend. Not too far from our little establishment over here. Okay. So, how many free workers? Four. That's good. That'll work out for now. I wonder how many farmers you need for the uh, farm itself. Maybe two? Hopefully just one, but I think maybe two will probably be better. Thomas and Barbara have married! Hey! Good on you guys. Oh yeah, let's see, um... Merchants here. Is it just me, or am I not getting gold from merchants anymore? Or maybe those were the merchants from the last episode, perhaps? I don't know. So... This merchant over here only has tin and wood. And what about the other guy? This guy's got wood as well, tin, and some stone. Mm-hmm. We're almost out of food found. How the fuck is that happening? We're not bringing too much food or what? Hunters, what, what's happening over here? Aggressively hunt. Come on, man. Hunt around. Hunt up, hump up, and get down. All right, I hope that plays out fine. I'm a bit worried now about the fact that we're solo on food. Are you guys um, doing a job here? Nothing stored. That could be a problem. Oh, there it is. Now you're bringing in the fish, huh? Okay. There you go. That's what's up. I guess you guys are moving it from one area to the other one? I don't know. Maybe. 
This farm needs to get up, though. We have 10 and 10 to go. My god, look at all those birds! It's terrifying! Okay, you know what? I like the idea of the birds, but I think they might, they might have overdone it here a little bit. That's just kind of fucking crazy. It's just way too many birds. Let's see, are you guys cutting down? Yes, you should be. I want to make sure that they're not just planting. Oh, you're just planting. You plant and cut down, and then you... Planting and cutting down, great. Aggressively hunting, okay. Bring in more food, guys. Farm is just about... Look, that's just way too many birds. It's scary. They're flying off, though. I guess that's cool. Alright. Nice! Farm is up and running! Look at that! Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, how many people can I, can work here? One. Two farmers. Okay, we'll, we'll have two farmers work there for now. Um, what are you guys going to grow? Your field workers base for planting grain, vegetables, and... Oh, just random stuff? Okay. I guess that's cool. You need tools. Tools would probably be helpful for them to kind of, like, you know, do that faster. So, let's toss in the one blacksmith in here again. Bad house person, you know what? I do believe you guys had enough time to shower if you needed it. Or not shower, but take a bath. So, let's remove you. We have three free workers. Okay. Okay. And you have two woodcutters in here. Not bad. Not bad. And hopefully the blacksmith starts working on those um, tools for my farmers, and it'll help them out quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, let's see what's available here. We saw this whole field thing, right? Used to mark a field area. Ah, uh, here we go. Hold left mouse button and drag to select. Hold left mouse button and drag to select. Right mouse button cancels. Okay. On grassland only. So now that we have a farmer, we could use this setup here, huh? So, this would be our field. How big does it have to be? I don't know. Is that good? <laughs> I don't know what the the ideal thing should be. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll... Yeah, sure, we'll work that one. Field. Land to harvest fruit, grains, or vegetables. Grains require lots of water and grow slowly. Fruit grows slowly and requires little water. Vegetables grow fast and require a medium amount of water. Okay, that's not bad. Good thing we made the... Um, Unknowingly made this little water area, the water catcher near the farm after all. So, grain requires lots of water and grows slowly. Fruits grow slowly and require little water. Vegetables grow fast and require a medium amount of water. Let's go with fruit first, just because I feel like we're kind of... Or vegetables, because I feel we're kind of low. And just bring in some random food. Our goal is going to be grain once our food situation is pretty much set up. Because with grain, we'll be able to turn that into... Flour, and then we'll be able to make the bakery, which is going to be flour and wood to create bread. Perfect. So for now, we'll just do vegetables because we do definitely need higher chance of rainfall. Perfect. We're going to be using water right now to make the some um, vegetable area grow in. So I think that works out pretty good. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm, I'm still worried about our food situation. Eight days of drought started. Your fields will need more water. Well, luckily it is autumn, so there is that. So three workers. How many kids? Children? We have eight children. Wow, we no wonder we're going through food really fast now. Those kids, man, they they eat like a like a horse and they're growing, you know? It's eat and eat. Um well merchants are gone. Their little tents are actually we have one. Oh, you know what? So that's the merchant that's merchant number one or two, and then the other guy was over here. Ah aha uh aha. -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I love it when I realize these things. Let's see. No, no, I want to see how you guys are doing here. You guys are aggressively hunting still? Alrighty. Keep going at it. We still need a lot of food. I almost feel compelled to make another fishing area after all. At least until this is actually under control. Oh, look at him work the field! Yeah! Working on field. He's troubled by no partner. Well, you know, just deal with it, dog, alright? You have bigger things to worry about right now, like farming. Alright? You don't need no woman. Or man, you know, whatever way you row. You are a dude, right? He's a 16-year-old farmer? Oh, come on! You're a 16-year-old kid. You don't... You could wait a bit longer till you find, you know, a pair. Male or female. It doesn't really matter which one. You're free to, you know, go after whichever one you want. But you're still 16, you know? You got a lot of time ahead of you. Technically, they die at 43, roughly. So he doesn't really have too much time ahead of him. But, you know, I'm trying to get him focused on farming instead of, you know, a significant other. So, all right. Our extra workers, let's start giving these guys a hand with the throwdown of stuff. Well, technically, are both of you guys working the same field? You are. I could set up more than one field, too. 
Hmm, do you guys think that would be a good idea? Like, have more than one field? Maybe? Give it a try. Okay. And... It is autumn. Again, we mentioned it's going to be raining a lot, right? So... Vegetables grow faster and require medium amount of water. Let's do another vegetable one for now. Let's see. Progress zero, fully grown zero. So they're both going to be at zero here. I wonder how often it grows, you know? This will be my first venture into farms, so... Who knows? Who knows? That might just bring my village to an end because I'm not sure how to work it. But hey, you got to learn it at some point. Let's um cut down all these trees over here with my free workers. Yeah. And then you guys just focus on planting afterwards. Actually, you know what? Help us um, with the cutting down as well. I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah, you guys are still growing over here, and you guys are still kind of growing as well. Alrighty, and then my hunters are bringing the population of rabbits down, but... You know, we'll get them off of that here pretty soon. And you're still making tools? Great. Let's um, speed it up to 8 now, and let this ball roll here for a while. These 8 days of drought. Kind of annoying. Get out of here, drought. 13 food. Now, we have three warehouse people, right? Two over here, and then one over here. And we have three workers, six foresters. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Oh, fuck. We're almost out of food completely now. That's actually kind of scary. Kind of really scary. Oof. Oh, hey, check this out, though. This is coming in now. Progress says zero, though. <laughs> But hey, it's going to be like a lot of fruit when it comes in. Fully grown, huh? Hold up, hold up. Stop, 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 stop. During a drought, your fields will need more water to not dry out. Okay, well, you're completely dry. This autumn right now is um really kicking my ass with the drought. <laughs> this is not the best time to have a drought when I'm trying to grow these fields. Progress is 20%. Cool, cool. If that comes in, we should be fine. I just need to be able to fish enough to keep us alive till then. And you guys continue to aggressively hunt over here, so I can really tell you. Bring in the old wood. You're still making tools over here, blacksmith? I guess that'll work out here. Cool. Got two more food over here. There you go. Get that food in there. As long as we can survive this and get our farm to, like, you know, bring in a harvest, I think we should be okay. 13% progress. Oh. It's a big number of uh, grown fruit, though. Or veggies. More tools. There's like this really weird ominous music going around here, too. Which kind of worries me a little bit. I'm like, what are you trying to... What are you trying to tell me here, game? Is there something really bad afoot? Like a raid? The raid that comes in and steals the last bit of food I have. Oh my god, no! We're about to hit the zeros in food! Oh, we're out of zeros now! Okay. I am... Really worried now. Our fruit, or at least our crops, don't have any water too. These goddamn droughts. Uh. Shit. Okay. Here's what I think we do. Stop momentarily. Uh, cancel the rest of this out. Let's go into. One more fishing area. Preferably not too far from our base of operations, so maybe like another fishing area somewhere around here. That's good. Okay. Let's see if that could save us. What I'll do is I'll toss the last few work workers over there and hopefully we're fine. I, I really doubt we will. Right now I'm... Oh, there's some food coming in finally. Thank God. Maybe we get that up and running in time. We should be okay. How's the... Hunting, yeah, I mean, you guys are wiping out the population. Hey, we're at the 10 here marker pretty soon. <laughs> Please get there fast. Fruits, how's it coming along here? Okay. Please keep going at it, guys. At least the drought's over. We have Dieter and somebody else married. A new merchant's arriving as well. Okay. He dropped off some money. Let's see about... Hmm... Let me sell some of the old wood away now, because we have a lot of that coming in anyway. So, so like 40. And I want to get more stone off of you. And maybe a bit more tin as well. So, 10? That sounds pretty good. 
As a matter of fact, let's toss 49 your way and give me some more of this. There we go. Trade. Alrighty. Whew. Food is back down to one, though. No. We're not out of the woods. We're still not out of the woods. Technically, literally, because we just brought down all those trees. <laughs> you get trees and woods. Ah, I kill myself sometimes. Alrighty. Come on, come on. It's my free workers at. Five free workers, so some of the kids did grow up indeed. Um I almost feel like removing some of the the blacksmith now. And not the fishermen, obviously the hunters, we need those, but I'm getting maybe like uh No, it's Technically, we don't need wood right now. Like, we do, but not like immediately. We do have a lot of stone and um, this iron here. So we could just double up on wood later. For now, the faster we get that fishing dock up and running, the more food will hopefully come in pretty soon. So let's get these um, sawmill dudes over here to work this area. Come on. We just need three more. Three more pieces of wood, guys. Please. Please hurry. You understand how imperative it is for you to get this up and running. There it is. Stop. Stop. And two fishermen. There you go. Extensions and it cost us 20 and 10. And then we have more fishermen in here as well. Is that something I want to do? I mean, you do it now, this goes um, unavailable for into its built. You do it later, we hopefully get some food, but then we'd only have two extra fishermen as opposed to four. I'm going to say we just um, roll with that small one for now. We did two workers in there. We have five free workers still. Really? Wow, we, our kids are growing up, it does seem, then. That's the reason why we're going through food like crazy. Okay, so. With five extra workers, huh? I guess you go back to turning this into doubling up on wood one more time. Food's coming back up. And blacksmith already have that there. Hmm. Maybe cut down some more trees and after all. So gather wood through this little area here. And you guys are working on work on planting now, because I'm gonna send my works over to just cut down an entire area. Alrighty, hunters, how you doing here? I'm gonna have you guys go back to normal hunting. I know we're low on food, but we can't necessarily wipe out the entire population of those animals either. Progress is 19%. Hey, we have 20 fully grown now. Oh, we're bringing in veggies! Yes! We might survive! <laughs> oh boy, I was worried there for a second. Oh, look at that food come in, guys! Glorious food! Fishermen! Veggies coming in! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you guys doubted me. I'm pretty sure you guys doubted me. Oh, Falcon's not gonna do it. No, he's not gonna do it. He's gonna die. Yeah, well, look who's... Wait, stop going back down. No, game, I was mocking the, the audience. Don't let them be right! Go back up. I'm sure we'll come back up here pretty soon. Um, Alright, let's see here. Technically, I, I'm freaking out, but I'm not really supposed to because it's only a big problem. Even though we have no excess food, if you go to the houses, that's where they have the food stored up. So they'll continue eating off of there over time. So, I mean, still, though, it is kind of worrying to see, like, you know, a little amount of food there for a while. So now that we have, like, doubling up on Woody again, we have three free workers who are cutting down those trees. Actually, they did that. Let me throw another warehouse person in here, I'm going to say. So storage will do... Oh, we could only have one in there. But over here we could have more than two, right? Yeah, so we have three. We'll have two free workers. And what I want those two free workers to do is to maybe... Mm, I don't think we need to worry about pharmacy right now. And considering their population of animals is kind of low again, it doesn't seem kind of pointless to make another one of these, right? Yeah. See, the population's kind of low again. So, with the two free workers, maybe convert this into the big dock and have four fishermen in here for winter? I don't think that's a bad idea. It's gonna, you know, drop our food intake from here, but let's make this extension happen. And because those guys won't be fishing, we'll have four workers to work on that little dock over here. Great. And what's pretty cool about that, too, is that since we're going to have that dock opened up for more fishing, it'll also bring in more trades, uh, or maybe more merchants coming in, because we'll have twice the amount of areas for them to actually dock at. So, Caroline was just born as well. Food is going pretty low. Come on, guys. Don't do me this way. Come on, food. Fucking water. 
Rain, goddammit. <laughs> Rain. 11 and 10. Yep. Oh, a few illnesses. Oh, shit, skis. Oh, you know what's really cool? They're just coming over to pick up the medicine. <laughs> so the fact, look at that. You see that? They're over here getting themselves cured. That's awesome. So if you store up uh, medicine over time, they'll just come over here and use it. That is fucking amazing, I think. Yeah, a lot of these people are sick, but it seems they're taking care of themselves. Yeah, see? We have none stored up now. But at least the ones that were sick came over here and killed themselves up. But oh, fuck, we're out of food again. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. How are we doing over here? Seven? Okay. Okay. Let's bring this up here, because I feel like people... Oh, here's food coming back in again. Great. Oh, get this up and running soon, man. I think with four fishermen over here and four over here, we should be fine for a while. There, it's built now. Great. Fishermen, four. There you go. Four fishermen here, four over there. Great. How many free workers? Only one free worker now, but that's okay. Because we have a lot of extra um, warehouse people. As a matter of fact, I can even remove one of these guys. We'll have two free workers now. And with those two free workers, what I want to do is... You know what? Let's send them back to the pharmacy and just store up some medicine again. In case we get sick, then we'll take care of that. What are you telling me? You telling me that something about the elks? <laughs> if we wipe off the elk population or what? I don't know what you're telling me, my friend. Those icons are still kind of a, a miss to me sometimes. I feel like my blacksmith doesn't really work as fast, or then again, maybe he does, but everybody's always grabbing a tool after he's done using it. I don't know. Let's see, how's the storage happening over into this side? We're completely stored up, stocked up on... Ooh, yeah. So we're not bringing any more stuff in that we're picking up because it's completely stored in. Is there an extension to you? Nope. I guess we'd have to make another warehouse or maybe even make an extension to this. Stronger version of the town hall, including a guarded tower. Ooh. What do you guys think? 25 and 20? Give us a guarded tower. Sure. Let's do it. Two free workers we mentioned? Yeah. Let's make it three free workers to get that up and running. Okay, how are you guys doing over here? 42% progress? Okay, very nice. This was at 29% progress. Okay, very good, very good. I feel like we probably do need a couple of more extra warehouses, don't we? Yeah, that's where you're built up now. We have a guarded tower. Ha ha ha! Things are coming up Millhouse. Let's go into storage, and look, we can make a soldier now just post up over here and help us with raids. Great. Let me do one warehouse dude over here. Uh, we have only one free worker, huh? Over here we have one warehouse person. All right, because I sent you guys to work on medicine. Yeah. That would make sense. Well, let me look at the storage over here. I mean, they can still store stuff over on this side, you know? So how about... Let's remove the warehouse people from over here, and we'll set them up over on this one. Oh, you could only assign one here, though? Can I do two now? No, they still one. Like, I would love to move the stuff that we have stored over here to this area. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible. Mm, and you are... still working on that. Because I still want to get at least one more... Warehouse to store more items here. Well, for now, this has actually grown in pretty well. And that's grown in pretty well. Well, let's be honest now. We have no population, so these hunters are basically just um, not doing much for us anymore. So we'll remove them from there. We will. Everything has like a job, or at least everybody has like a thing to do right now. So, we'll set one more worker into the bad house to take care of any illnesses that we might have. We have two free workers. They will come over here and start gathering this wood. And, let's see, what are you guys focusing on? Cutting and planting? You're just focusing on planting and you're focusing on cutting and planting. Alright. Ooh. Ah, oh, look at that. 40% progress, and 62% progress. Okay, we're getting close to it, man. 
I guess. Maybe at 100% we take everything back and just store it in and we'll be good for winter. I think we might be good for winter, actually, assuming we survive this little epidemic over here. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Now, let's um check out a new merchant's arriving. Good. Let's check out what we have here in terms of our stats, and we'll start wrapping it up here for today, guys. So storage, let's... Actually, not that statistics. 17 people without homes? That's pretty serious. See a lot of illnesses, too. And we're out of food suddenly as well. Well, luckily we have some food coming in right now. Um, Alright, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. I tell you, the, the fluctuation is really drastic in this game. One day, one moment you're doing okay, suddenly it's kind of like, yeah, fuck you. And suddenly it's kind of like, okay, you're okay now. And then it's kind of like, alright, fuck you again. It's really interesting. Alright, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it with a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.